Hello everybody, welcome to a new week, the second week of January and it's Monday here in New Zealand which means it's time for a Deal It Up challenge. Now just before I get into this I want to give a little shout out to my friend Lydia uh, over on her Instagram account at February and June. Uh, she's also on YouTube. Every month she does a prompt week and there's five days of prompts that she puts out so they're up now over on Instagram uh, so I'll link her in the description box below the video so if you're into journaling and you like working with prompts I highly recommend that you head on over there uh, have a look at the prompts for the week and think about including them in your journaling I absolutely love them they're all based around the senses so taste and see and feel and smell and, and all those things uh, and just really, really interesting to pop those little things into your journaling, into your daily journaling. So just wanted to give a little shout out. I'm super excited that uh, we're kicking off uh, January's prompt week today. And so I'll absolutely be printing those prompts off um, today and starting to include those for the week. Okay, so let's get into the Deal It Up Challenge. Uh, so my three stacks of card here, cards here, minus the ones that I uh, that we did last week, and I completely forgot to get anybody to choose card numbers for this one. So uh, we'll just go back to for today to me pulling a random card, which is fine. It works well enough. I just want to include you guys in this process. Uh, still trying to work that one out. Okay, so let's go, shall I close my eyes? I'm going to close my eyes and pick this one. A shaped pocket. Okay, we haven't had this prompt before. We've done rectangle pockets, but we haven't done shaped pockets. So that's cool. Closing my eyes seems to work. Not that you can tell that I'm closing my eyes, but I definitely am. Uh, not for the shuffling process though, otherwise I'd probably end up with them all over the floor. <clears throat> Please excuse me, once again I'm still going froggy, it's just the weirdest thing. Okay, close my eyes again, spread them out a bit, and I'm feeling this one. Vintage, okay. And our final prompt... It uh, looks like it's going to be a beautiful summer day today. It's a little bit cool inside at the moment, but the sun's shining, there's blue sky, and it looks just gorgeous outside. So I'm thinking I might go for a little bit of a drive later today. Do a little bit of exploring the countryside just to get out there, give the car a run, and take a break from just crafting because I spend all day every day crafting and sometimes it's good just to step away for a bit okay I've got my eyes closed and I want to go with this one fabric Ooh. okay right so I'll pop you on pause grab what I need and I'll be back in the blink of an eye and I'm back took me a little longer to pull things together than uh, what I anticipated this morning uh, as I was thinking about what a, precisely I want to do now the first prompt the pocket shaped so a shaped pocket um, is anything that's not a basic rectangle so it could be triangle it could be a circle pocket it could be a rectangle base but that's had something interesting done with it so it's not just a, a straight rectangle so for mine, I thought I would do a triangle pocket um, with another little pocket on it. And I haven't tried this out first, so I've got a Reader's Digest book page here. I'm going to use that as my base. So I'm doing a triangle like so, and then I'm going to fold up the bottom bit. about there okay and then I'm going to fold over this little extra bit here just onto the back so that we end up with a triangular pocket here and then just a little pocket here 
Now I do want to strengthen the top of this wee pocket so I'm just going to open it back out and fold the top down a little bit and this will make the pocket smaller uh, but that's fine because it's just a little um, added pocket not designed for anything super huge but this will just make that pocket more secure that it's not going to tear with things going in and out of it. Now this has got a rough edge long here and I'm just trying to think first I'll get off the bits of glue that are from the binding of the book that I took it out of get those off and then see whether I want to actually trim it down or not get all those crusty bits off I think it's fine I think it was just those little lumps of dried old glue that were just making it feel a bit funky to me but no, I think that's fine. So I am going to ink it up now. I uh, haven't glued it yet um, for a very good reason, which I'll go into at the moment. In a moment, I mean. So, uh, and I'm inking because it's... Oops, and I just dropped my sponge. Oh dear. I cannot see where it's gone. Um, 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 okay. Let me just grab out my old sponge that I had for my vintage photo, which fortunately I've still got. And I'll have to remember to find my other one somewhere, wherever it is rolling around on the floor. Um, <laughs> after the video. Right. Uh, could be one of those days. Do you ever get the feeling that some days are just one of those days where everything goes a bit wonky, pear-shaped, frustrating? Right, so as I was saying, I am inking because Vintage is one of the prompts that we're working with. So um, this is a really neat way just to add a bit of that Vintage flair. Right, there we go. Old sponge to the rescue, eh? Okay, so now I'm going to glue down this little flap and why I inked it first was that so I could remember where all the folds are and which way around I'm doing things so when it comes to um, adding bits and pieces to it decorating it before I glue I'm gluing them in the right place and know exactly what I was planning on how it was going to be folded up okay hopefully that makes sense Right, so I am going to, I'm just going to glue this whole bit down. I was thinking about trimming it, but um, there's no need really. It's just going to make the pocket a bit thicker and more sturdy. Um, often I will trim it off and then use the, the cut off bit somewhere else. But, you know, I've got plenty of scraps, plenty of Reader's Digest book pages that sometimes you've just got to say enough's enough. Just glue it down and that takes care of it. It it's, is actually performing a purpose as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm giving myself a, a talking to here. Okay, so that's as far as I'm going to glue down for now. So I'm going to leave this bit unglued so that it's easier to get in here and decorate um, before I glue it all together. Right, so what do I want? I did find... I had a flick through of one of my old encyclopedias that I've got here and found these really, really cool illustrations. Uh, there's a Cooper here making a barrel and this one is doing something else with a barrel. So he's a Cooper as well. Uh, Cooper being the ones that made barrels. I don't know. I just learned that this morning. Um, and I was thinking maybe that one's a bit big. Maybe we could go with this one. Um, because I'm thinking I might use this for a male themed journal that I'll be doing um, this coming year. I'm not sure precisely when I'm going to start it, but it will be something I'll do on my Patreon account. So I'll be working on the journal there. Um, but I can do the odd little bit over here um, like this, which I anticipate will be part of that journal. So I thought these were... Perfect little images to include in a male-oriented journal. So if you're interested in following along on when I get to do the um, that journal, 
um, then pop along to Patreon. I'll give a heads up when I start into it. It's going to be a wee way away because I'm working on a digital kit that I'll use to to make the journal. And I'm only like, I've only done four pages of the kit so far. So I've, I've got quite a bit to do before I get to the point where I can actually do the journal. Okay, and if I just trim off about there... I think we'll be all good. Yeah. Gonna go there. So I'm not cutting his back. Oops, I did actually end up snipping part of his back off. I don't know how I managed that because I had it lined up not to. Oh well, it's it looks looks fine. So I'm gonna give this a bit of an ink. Oops, I think the sponge has been in storage for a while since I had to cut the bottom off uh, and it's gone gone a bit dry that ink that was on it is um, not giving me any love so fresh ink that's a nice inked edge more of that vintage feel and the theme of the um, or part of the mail journal that I'll be doing it does have a vintage vibe, so this is a perfect, perfect set of prompts to to work on for that journal. And was completely accidental. I promise my eyes were closed when I was picking the cards. Right, so I think if I pop that there, so in behind, um, what do I want in behind? Hmm, I did not pick anything out. Um, scribbling. My brain is scribbling. Like, what can I use? How about, I think I've got either a digital printable of a map or a bit of map or something, something along those lines. In here, what about this? This is not a map, but it's kind of right. Okay, so. Line that up and I'm going to tear that off and I've got a bag in my lap of my scraps so this is a little awkward trying to work around it so I think I'll collage up in the background and then stick our little encyclopedia image on top of that so that can go there like so um, what else have we got? Some, no, that's a bit of jelly printed paper. Don't want that. That's too bright and colourful. Got a paper bag here, a striped paper bag. Oops, with other scraps inside it. That one can go in my small scraps bin over there. Nope my bag down so I can actually have my oops there's another little scraps flying everywhere um, maybe a bit of this so I'm just going to tear a bit off oh there's a seam there it's double layer it's a bit harder to tear there I do like this paper I have no idea where it came from some fancy shop by the feel of it right throw out that little scrap And tear it down that little crease line or just around there. Oops, it's tearing on the crease. Oh well, that's fine. <laughs> oh dear. And let's tear it. Hopefully it tears okay. It's feeling like it's not tearing all that easily where I want it to tear anyway. Uh, not doing too bad. Hope everyone had a great weekend. We had a very, very quiet one. It was very wet on Saturday and really cold. Like summer? What summer? It's just... <sighs> Stop going on about it. It's just disappointing to have a summer where it doesn't feel like summer half the time. It's just been quite cold and wet some days 
um yeah so it was quite wet on saturday and very cold yesterday was a lot brighter and quite lovely warmed up very nicely and today's similar which is nice right so if we put those there we could slide that down a little bit maybe yep i think that's fine okay let's get those down so this one first Yeah, so um, my husband had intended to do a few jobs around the house on Saturday, but he'd had a really busy week, and when he got home from work in the evenings, he was doing a lot of outside work, so ended up just having a, a day of rest on Saturday, really, which I think was good. It's not that long since he was sick, so, you know, he still needs to make sure he gets plenty of rest. And it was a grotty day, and he thought it would be a perfect day for getting inside jobs done. But, you know, they'll, they're still there. They've been there for a while now, and they will continue to be there. Um, and we'll get there eventually. But you've got to look after yourself first, and, you know, listen to your body. And if your body is saying you need to rest, then it's better off to rest. Right, now where exactly did I have him? Bring it over a little bit there. So, just at the edge of the A. There's a little A on that background paper. This is very thin encyclopedia paper. So I'm going to turn over my glue page so it doesn't stick to the page and get damaged. Because that would be super annoying and I'd have to start again and looking for something to degrade it with. And I don't want to do that. I've got lots to do today and redoing things is not in my plan. Right, I think, yep, that's good placement there. There we go, that's that. Right, so the front bit now. Our little pocket here so this image will be visible when you take whatever's in the pocket out and a little bit I imagine it will only be something small uh, no bigger than this so you'll get a hint of the picture behind with whatever's in the pocket right don't mind if this is upside down I am just going to pop that bit down just tear off these edges put that there and remembering that one of the prompts is fabric so we need to pop a bit of fabric on here somewhere and of course because I want it for a male themed journal I don't want it girly so I've actually chosen out this bit of paisley um, sort of like scarf material or something very thin very light uh, it's got that vintage kind of look with the a beige in it and a bit of darker brown and then some red and I thought that's not too girly I think that'll fit and it's definitely got a vintage vibe as well right maybe some more of this let's chuck a bit of that on there somewhere Oops, I've got glue on my fingers and it's sticking to my fingers. Right, let's peel that off. Yep, looks good to me. So yes, and then yesterday I... Um, I was in this really weird kind of place that I was super, super tired, like really tired. I couldn't stop yawning. And I've been getting messages about balance um, through my daily reading and everything about, you know, having balance in life and resting and stuff. But I didn't want to rest because I was, I get bored if I'm not doing anything. I, I, I really don't like being bored. 
Um, so I was fighting with myself all afternoon with not feeling like I'm capable of doing anything because I was tired and yet wanting to do things because I don't like being bored and yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this um, maybe this way um, yeah so I was in this really weird space so I ended up going and taking a cuppa outside and sitting on the deck and having a cup of tea and doing some reading which was super lovely and in itself is rest as well as well as doing something that I don't often don't make time for just reading a novel um, but really enjoyed that and one of the cats was with me and getting pets and things along the way and yeah so I did that and then I came back inside and I was like yeah and no, I still want to be doing something still yawning still really tired and um Anyway, I ended up printing out a project and starting working work on it and really enjoying it and figuring, you know, creativity is part of my rest in many ways. And there was, with so much I've got to do, it's actually more restful for me to just do it, enjoy the process and get on, than to put it off and then feel pressured because I've got too much to do the next day. So yeah, going on a bit of a self journey at the moment on how to manage um, this new little budding career I've got that I'm trying to build of of journaling and bringing you guys videos and Patreon and all that sort of thing and not overdoing it and still leaving time for other things and yeah, so it's quite quite the journey at the moment. Right, now can I tear this? We'll try. Let's see if we can tear it. It's all nice and sort of crinkly and wrinkled. <clears throat> Maybe I didn't snip it long enough. Let's try a bigger snip. Ooh. Oh, there we go. I was just getting over the initial. Now there's a... Is it a sewn seam? No, it's not. It's just curled over. Let's try and rip it this way. And with fabric, it can be anything. It could be lace. It could be a bit of ribbon. Um, could be actual fabric like I'm using. Um, could be a fabric flower. You know, fabric in some form or description. Um, could be a doily, a crochet doily or something. That would work as well. Just getting rid of some of these strings. Ah, that's what was in that edge. It was a bit of elastic, very thin elastic. Right, just trying to get rid of anything that's going to fall off, sort of, in the first instance. Right, I think that's enough, otherwise I'll end up with no bit of fabric left. And I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. It's a bit, a bit hairy for me. I like texture but that just stuck out a bit too much now I've got little tiny little bits all over my mat right so I'm kind of thinking if that gets scrunched up a bit and I don't mind if it hangs down over the page once it's on a page um, probably prefer it not to hang over the top of the pocket because that kind of obscures the, the pocket a little bit and this is actually the right side that side Okay, so now I'm ready, I want to go ahead and glue this down. So I've finished decorating on there. So I'm going to glue all over this little triangle that folds over the back. And you could cut this off as well if you didn't want to fold it over, if you wanted to reduce some bulk. Um, but these book pages aren't very thick, so I'm happy just to fold it over. And then just down the side there. And I'm just going to put a little bit along this edge. It's not necessary at all. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway. Right. Just to make it doubly secure. And make sure that's all stuck down. I just cleaned my mat again last night and already I'm getting glue all over it. I can't believe how 
dirty it gets like I wipe it with baby wipe and it's just filthy incredible okay so like that there I'm going to use my tacky uh, not my tacky glue that's 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 my tacky glue this is my premium craft glue that's alcohol based and I like this one with fabric so I'm going to use this one just make sure it is on the right side and I'm going to glue it on my fabric um, just because I find that a little bit easier I know where I'm gluing uh, I'm not going to go right to the bottom of the fabric because it will hang down a little bit off my pocket right it's very thin fabric so it's going to stick to my fingers it's going to come through um, so I'm going to grab my wee card and just push it down with that to save my fingers a little bit of stickiness I'm pulling up little bits of fiber off the fabric okay now I want something on that so I did grab out my numbers my stamped numbers we could go with the number it's a bit big maybe it's a bit dominant which is fine if I want it to be the only thing but I am thinking of using something else as well just having a look through here looking for colors that will work yeah I don't want orange bringing in too many colors It's got a red, red number on it, and it's a bit smaller than the other one. Okay, I don't mind that. And thinking maybe a stamp. As in a postage stamp. So can I find an older one in here? Possibility. So I'm trying to. There's quite a few older ones, but some of the um some of them aren't the colour that I'm looking for. Not quite the right colour. Oh, I'm all flicking them all over the place. Don't want green. They, these ones would be okay, but they're just a little bit big for what I want. Could go rose, uh, you know, possibly work. Ah, here we go. Now we're getting to some real options. These are Australian. So so we won't go with the rose um, really feeling like these are a bit big they obscure unless I put it over a little bit just need to tear it down a bit so I can see better yeah no too big and those will be the same um, we prefer a New Zealand one for this so let's try this wee one I remember this wee one um, the stamp from my days of collecting stamps when I was a teenager I love stamps stamps are really cool now is that number not really working is it Hmm. Okay, so I like the stamp. Number now, I am not sure. So. Oh, I've got sore muscles in my arms every time I reach behind me. I've been doing some exercise and <laughs> my arms are going, eek! Yeah. 
but it's a good sort of eek. It's like, yeah, I've done something. It's it's working. It's doing something. Too small. Um, too square. Okay, I think I need to do some words when I do this um, digital kit. Chase the rainbow. It's not very manly, is it? Kind of doesn't fit. Yeah, the sentiment doesn't fit. Love fully. That would work, but kind of not what I'm wanting either. Okay, I'm not finding much here that I am. Oh, here we go. Make it happen. Or live, laugh, love. Right, wrong sort of orientation. Sorry guys, I'm fiddling around here, taking ages to make a decision. No, don't like that either, it's just not gelling for me. Okay. Ow! Oh, my poor arms. I've got some slightly different numbers here, so maybe one of these might sort of fit a little bit better. Yes, that, that makes me happier. So remember to put that one in there in the right container because these are my um, multi-layered stamps and these are just stamped numbers without the multiple layers of background. So yes, I think I'll put that in behind. Just my tacky glue again. this one right, like that and then this one I'm just going to give a little bit of that vintage love and attention because this is the focal bit the number isn't that's why I didn't ink the number just wanted it to sink a bit more into the background. And this I want to stand out a bit more. Okay. Right. So almost there. Almost completed this little baby. And it will go in a journal to be done in the future. Right, and I like it just overlapping that little number at the beginning. Number abbreviation. I was thinking, what's it called? It's not a number. It's a, not a symbol precisely. It's an abbreviation. It took me a while to think of that. Monday morning brain wake up. Okay, so there we have our little pocket. So the prompt is just for a pocket. So you don't need to fill it at this stage. And I'm not going to fill it yet. I'll do that when I come to making the journal, I think. Uh, but we have our little pocket here. And then pop it on a page. Uh, this is weird, small page. That's not going to work. Um, hang on a sec. I'll get an actual page here. Go on our page. Like so, something like that. And I love that this hangs down the bottom. I think that would be fun. And there's our bigger pocket there. And it's shaped pocket. So we've got pocket that's shaped. We've got our fabric here. And we've got a vintage look. So you don't have to choose all the elements to be vintagey. It can just be one element. But however you interpret those prompts, that's how I've interpreted them for my make today. So there we go guys, there's Deal It Up challenge for week number 9. Can you believe I've been doing this for 9 weeks, doing these challenges. 
super enjoying it hope you are too and i'll see you in the next video thanks for joining me everyone bye